Happy Thursday, first graders. Our lessons on fact families are all wrapped up. And next week, Ms. Fraze will be teaching some lessons on geometry, which is the study of shapes. And tomorrow we have a fun scavenger hunt to do that'll get us warmed up for our lessons on shapes next week. So today we're going to play a game to help us uh, practice adding by 10 and 20. So let's take a look at our I can statements for today. I can play stop and go. I can add 10 and 20. Now adding 10 and 20 is a little bit different than adding other numbers because we can use our ability to skip count by 10 to add by 10 and 20 quickly without having to write anything down or use any manipulatives or tools like a number line. And when we're able to do that, solve problems quickly without using any tools, we call that mental math. Like we talked about earlier this week with our doubles facts and our pairs that make 10. Now, you may be wondering, but Mr. Mac, I never learned how to skip count by 20. And we'll see when we play stop and go that if you know how to skip count by 10, you also know how to skip count by 20. Here's our stop and go game board. Uh, there's a picture of this game board in the slide above. If you want to pause the video, make the game board and come back. But as you're watching me, I don't want you to write uh, what I'm writing. I just want you to watch so you know how to play the game. Because when you play the game, you're going to start at a different number. Now, if you do want to play along with me and then play the game again on your own, that's up to you. But you don't have to follow along with me the first time. You just have to watch along so you see how the game is played. All right, so I like to think of this game as if I'm driving. For you, maybe you can think you're in the back of a grown-up's car or maybe you're driving in a video game like Mario Kart. And when we get a go sign, we get to go up to 20 miles an hour. We get to go a little faster. When we have a stop sign coming up, we have to slow it down to 10 miles an hour. So on a go sign, we're going to add 10 or 20. On a stop sign, we're only going to add 10. And we're going to start at zero. We're going to start with our car parked. At the start line, we're not moving yet. And we see green light go, which means we get to go 20 miles an hour. So I'm going to write plus 20. And I'm going to use my ability to skip count by 10 to help me solve this number sense that I, I just created, which is 0 plus 20 equals. Now, skip counting, we know that when we add by 10, it's just like skip counting by 10. But when we add by 20, it's like skip counting up two tens places. Let's try it. If we were to skip counting by 10, we would say 10, 20. 10, 20. So 0 plus 10 would just be 10, but 0 plus 20 would be 10, 20. So 0 plus 10 equals 20. Now we're going to, in our next line, we're going to use the number we left off at, which was 20. And that's going to be our starting point here. So we're still going 20 miles an hour, but now we have this stop sign. So now we got to start slowing down. We can only add 10 this time. So now I have a number sentence of 20 plus 10. Now again, we're going to skip count up, but only I only need to skip count up by 10 once. Now for me, and it may be helpful to you too, sometimes I like to start all the way back at the beginning and then find the number I'm starting at, like this, 10, 20, and then I'll freeze. 10, 20, and I'll stop at the number I'm at. And you can kind of think of that like if when you were learning the ABCs and I asked you what letter comes after M, maybe in a kindergarten, a kindergartner wouldn't know. But if they said A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, they could know that N comes after M. But they may have to start at the beginning of the alphabet. So you may have to start at the beginning at zero and skip count up to the number you're at and then count up the number you're adding. And that's fine. So let's do it that way. 10, 
and I like to slap my hand down right on that stop sign when I get to the number I'm at. 10, 20. Now I need to skip count up one more 10 from 20. 30, 10, 20, 30. So 10 plus 20 equals 30. All right now we're still going 30 miles an hour on the next one. And now we have a go sign, so we get to add 20. We now have our number sentence. Ugh, I wanted that to be green. No. And then we add, we now have the number sentence 30 plus 20. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to start it at zero. 10, 20, 30. Now, I know that when I'm adding 20, I'm going to skip counting up by 10 twice. 10, 20, 30. 40, 50. So 30 plus 20 equals 50. All right, we're still going 50 miles an hour a year, but now we have a stop sign, so we know we're only adding 10. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. Adding ten, just need to skip count by ten one more time. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. So fifty plus ten equals sixty. Next line, we're still driving sixty miles an hour in your little Mario Kart. Maybe one of those gorillas threw a banana at you. I don't know, it's been a while since I played that game. I think that's what happens though. All right, so we're going 60 miles an hour and we have a go sign. So now we get to add 20. I'm gonna start at the beginning and smack my hand down when I get to the number I'm at and then count up the number I'm adding. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Up two more tens. 70, 80. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Up two more, count them with me. 70, 80. So 60 plus 20 equals 80. All right, and finally, we are going super fast. 80 miles an hour, we have our stop sign. So we can only add 10. And maybe you've gotten the hang of this to now where you can just count right up from the place that we left off. But I'm going to go back to the beginning. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. One more 10, 90. 80 plus 10 equals 90. Okay, friends, so you are, if you decided to follow along with me on this one and, and wanted to do another one, that's awesome. But your seesaw mission for today, friends, is going to be to fill out uh, one of these stop and go game boards and take a picture of your completed game board and share it with your teachers except for you you're going to start with 10 instead of zero so your numbers will be a little bit different you're still going to be practicing adding by 10 and 20 but you're going to start with 10 right here instead of zero all right friends i hope you have fun with stop and go excited to see how you share your learning we are going to be doing a shape scavenger hunt tomorrow and have, a, have an awesome Thursday.